we started the whole club with 30 students and throughout the years we have conducted and throughout the years we have conducted a number of activities to the in association with the club like tree plantation drives and spreading awareness through marathons and street plays. We have also encouraged celebrating festivals at orphanages and old age homes. However, last year we started the Accessible India project under which we uh, surveyed around 80 restaurants and public places in Chandigarh wherein we, we surveyed whether they had disabled friendly washrooms, ISL trained employees as well as ramps within the accessible area. However, we came to conclude that none of the restaurants had public friendly toilets and less than 50% of them had ramps in the accessible areas. So as a result, we, uh, we started a petition to bring back the inclusive building code, which NBC removed nearly seven years ago. The clause basically stated the stated that it is mandatory for restaurants to have toilets, uh, disabled-friendly toilets. Uh, so we contacted the higher authorities and started a petition, which had more than 7,300 signatories. Uh, however, as we went forward with the project, we wanted to expand our project to a more higher level because we noticed that the project had a limited outreach and we were not able to connect more with the students. So we felt unheard in the society and no major policy decisions were made despite starting off with the petition. We also questioned the self-sustainability of our project as we felt that we became more dependent on others. So uh, all of this together compiled us to take matters into our own hands. So throughout the past year, we conducted numerous initiatives and activities to make our project more sustainable. I would like to hand over to Jayadi to explain our initiatives. Thank you, Nisan. So continuing this year's project, we uh, focus on two major things. First was fundraising. So fundraising. We raised funds through uh, organizing a temporary canteen. A ca canteen was set up by high schoolers. We uh, prepared food ourselves and invited children and parents uh, to like, serve them. Okay, all right. And second, Edan uh, showcased his photography in an exhibition. And through all the uh, funds raised, we <coughs> bought wheelchairs. We bought, bought around 80 wheelchairs that we decided to donate in. Uh, in these societies. We decided, to, we donated a wheelchair yesterday in a home, and in an old age home in Sector 12, Panchkula. And uh, we are donating today in Sai Mandir and Kalibai Temple. The people will come. Uh, and we are here to help people, those who can seek help, as well as uh, provide sustainability and equal opportunity for everyone. Now over to Anushka to in the future, we want to raise more funds, so we'll be hosting more fundraisers for larger scale wheelchair donations. Right now we have five wheelchairs that are donating, but at the end of the session, we hope to donate around 80 wheelchairs to different parts of Tri-City. Now on to the app. So the problem that we saw was that people with disabilities had to hire a full-time helper to help them throughout their daily life, especially when they were going out. We wanted to eliminate that, so we wanted to create a platform through which people, individuals with disabilities can easily contact volunteers so that they can assist them for short time, especially in public places. So the idea is quite straightforward. A person in need of help and a person ready to help will first register on our platform. After registration and verification, a person in need of assistance will get in contact with the person who is helping, a volunteer. After getting in contact, they can set up location and time so that they can meet each other and they can help the person, the volunteer can help with, let's for example, let's say if someone had to go to a park, they can help with the transport as well as moving their wheelchairs, for example. Through this, we hope to connect our society which has been divided. Volunteers can come from many places such as high schools and universities. 
volunteers, we plan to divide them into separate tiers because not every disability is the same and some may require more specialization. So tier three, for example, can be more specialized uh, disabilities for which we'll need professionals. But for tier one, we can train them through our own app, through videos and modules. Now over to Anushka to explain. Thank you, Dan. As we talk about youth today, today's youth is proactive. So that is why we are talking about youth empowerment, especially in this kind of programs, which will foster the connections between all types of age group, which will help to build a healthier connection throughout the world. This will inculcate the culture of empathy, passion, and social responsibility towards the society. The reason why we are taking like-minded people like us because we know that our generation knows how uh, to network and we also know how to raise, uh, raise awareness among a lot of people through our uh, social, uh, social medias, then through our networking skills. We really want everyone to be a part of it. So this is the reason that we want to create, uh, create this kind of society so that we can give it back uh, to all the people and hence we can create a longer lasting impact on the same. So that is why we are here to create a better uh, world for everyone and hence we can provide equality to everyone. So that is the reason we are here to uh, say everyone that we need all your support for this kind of uh, programs. And this is not just one kind of program that we are planning. We hope to do many more in the future, inculcating everyone. Thank you. So uh, I would like to thank the representatives of Sai Mandir and Kalibari Temple who are present here and have taken precious time uh, to be in this conference. Thank you. I'm President Kalibari in Chandigarh, Pranav Singh, and my colleague, Mr. Gautam Roy. So, you know, this, uh, I'm really thankful to uh, this, this, uh, all the children and uh, the whole uh, club. Uh, their idea is really very good. They are very innovative, uh, but I'm just, just uh, listening to them. But uh, from where they have got the idea and all that thing, the approvals and all that thing, probably you won't find any such sort of thing which you are looking for, the ramps and uh, all facilities or the basic things for the disabled people. They are also a part of all this thing. Uh, we at Kalibari Chandigarh also, you know, uh, we are also in this sort of thing. We are also doing a lot of charity and all that thing. Our uh, this annual program is also, ours is a, basically it's a, our religious, social, cultural and charitable organization and we are also getting some donations and all that thing and throughout the year we also used to do all these sort of things. Uh, this is a very good idea. Uh, actually, uh, it, I mean, it's uh, basically giving back to society but uh, we we are fortunate enough. We are not, uh, I mean, the disabled people, I, I would say they are also a part of us. They are also, I mean, their mental faculties are absolutely in place and they can do wonders. Uh, provided we try to help them, right? And uh, I'm really thankful to you people. I've also got children. The, uh, they are also well settled, and uh, in our society also, different uh, type of people are there. Some are privileged, some are not privileged. But uh, this is the basic tenet of uh, this thing. But we learn in our schools and all that thing. I'm just uh, recalling my days that I was in the school and. Now I'm just going to retire from service and I've also decided, I mean, I mean, uh, we all have decided to go for this thing in a, in a much, much uh, larger scale so that uh, we also need uh, people like you, I mean, the students, the, the future generation, <laughs> this thing. So you just go with this thing. God bless you and our blessings are all this with you. Thank you. Thank you. Point. Your name and your uh, yes, my, I am uh, designation in Kalibari. Uh, oh. Anyhow, that is not uh, this thing. I am a senior divisional manager with an insurance company. I am retiring in June. But uh, there I am president of Kalibari Chandigarh. Pranav Singh. My name is Pranav Singh.